Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mrs. Fox, and I'm back with another long overdue video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five, five ways to go from basic to baddie. Now let's get a few things out of the way. Number one, baddie is all in your mind, what you make it to be. All of these things I do do myself. Okay, welcome into my life. And a lot of these things I've learned over the years and or may have learned from somebody else or may have been inspired by somebody else to do these things. So this is why I'm sharing them with you because also on this channel, we are number one, inspiring, we're growing, and we're elevating and ascending, okay? I am the queen of elevating and ascending. Some of these are low budget, low cost, or no cost at all. Okay, now if you have the funds, because I'm always thinking about everyone in these scenarios. So, but if you have the funds, by all means do these. A lot of these things are very inexpensive. You can do them and just rock out and become a baddie, not only on the outside, but on the inside and inside your home. Let me scoot over a little bit. Okay, there we go. Tip number one, take all of your plastic dishes, recycle them, and remodel your kitchen, meaning replace, and I have to talk slow so it can get to the people in the back because it's always somebody. Replace them with glass dishes, okay? Number one, it's more healthier for you to use glass dishes versus plastic dishes because a lot of plastic still will contain BPA. If you do not know what BPA is, go and do your research. This is not a video about BPA. Okay, but you will see it on certain plastic. This does not contain BPA. We're not doing that. We are trashing the plastic by recycling it Okay, and we're replacing the entire kitchen with glass dishes. It is number one, more fancier. It's way more elegant, it's more classier. It will help you as a person to care better for the dishes in your kitchen. And while growing up, I just hated when you have that plastic dish and you'll eat like a bowl of spaghetti and a bowl of spaghetti is like the dish is the color of the spaghetti or if like I eat Indian food a lot, if I eat Indian food and if I use, I don't use plastic dishes, okay? But if I had a plastic dish, the color of that plastic dish would be the color of the Indian food. It's annoying, it's tacky, no offense to anybody who is still using plastic dishes. This is no offense to you. This is my tip to you if you want to go from basic plastic to baddie glass. Okay, <laughs> when you go into restaurants, are they using plastic dishes? Huh, what you say? Oh, okay, no, they're not. I just went one day and I purchased a whole bunch of glass dishes from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, the world isn't coming to an end. You do not have to go to Target or Walmart to purchase higher end glassware. I went and started at Dollar Tree because back then I did not have the money. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, listen, the buck stops here. No more plastic up in this house. We are elevating. We're going to get glass dishes. And I went to Dollar Tree and I purchased a bunch of bowls, cups, Dollar Tree. Okay, keyword dollar. Get you some glass dishes because they have a whole section full of glass dishes. This is for the people who do not know this. If you can afford to go ahead and get you a whole box of glassware set, um, go ahead and do that. But all my baking trays, anything I bake with or put in the oven is glass. Except for this one tray, which I use parchment paper on. But anything outside of that, it is definitely, definitely glass. Um, it also taught my daughter to if you want to go ahead and say it i'm gonna go ahead and say it it told her to um 
live like she's in Buckingham Palace, period, Pooh. <laughs> okay, so that was just a joke, guys. Um, but it taught her to better care for dishes and how to actually not be used to plastic, okay? This tip is like one of the cheapest tips I can give you to make your home much more fancy or make it feel like you're fancier. Baby, I don't care if you live in the projects, public housing, whatever. This is for you as well, okay? If the rich folk can do it, so can you. Tip number two, stop buying canola oil. Now, I know you guys are ready to come through the camera on me talking about canola oil is only $2.99, canola oil is only a dollar. Uh, so what? Who cares? Not me, because someone may need to hear this. Canola oil is artery clogging. It is not healthy. It has zero health benefits. It's just a cheap oil. So canola oil, vegetable oil, those are lower grade. So I'm just gonna use my hand in this so you can understand this visually. Basically canola oil and vegetable oil are down here, okay? Now I'm gonna give you two oils. They might be costly, but they are better for your health, better for your arteries, better for everything that's going on inside and you can cook with these oils. The two oils I recommend for number two is grapeseed oil and or avocado oil. And these are two grapeseed oil brands that I adore. These are not the ones from Walmart. The one from Walmart is, um, I can't think of it, but I love Dilalo and I love, I'm not gonna pronounce that, but And Chosen Foods have my favorite avocado. I love this. And guess what? In regular markets, this is expensive. But I was strolling through Trader Joe's today and I said, Trader Joe's has Chosen Foods. Because normally Trader Joe's have Trader Joe's products. But to see this in Trader Joe's, I think it was about seven bucks, which is way cheaper than what you would pay at like an Albertsons or a Safeway or a Publix or anything like that if they had them. But yes, oh my gosh, I love this oh oil. Okay. Avocado and grapeseed oil are the two highest end oils that I know of, that I know of through years of research, years of use that you can use, okay? Especially for older people, okay? High cholesterol, all of that stuff. Switch over to grapeseed or avocado oil. You can also use them in your hair, on your skin. Multi-use. You are not putting vegetable oil on your skin. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, number three, swap out aluminum-based deodorants for natural deodorants. The recommendation before doing this is to detox your underarms before switching from aluminum-based deodorants to either plant-based or just natural deodorants, meaning non-aluminum deodorants, okay? If you wonder why breast cancer is running rampant, aluminum-based deodorants is one of the reasons why, if not the highest. But they won't tell you that. Thank me later, do your own research. It's aluminum going into your skin. Like, what sense does that make? Do you eat aluminum? Do you know what aluminum is? Ask yourself these questions, then ask yourself what is in your products. We have to be more conscious of what is in our products. So here are a few non-aluminum deodorants to get you started. And here is my personal favorite deodorant, Crystal. Crystal deodorant has one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients, and none of them are aluminum. This brand has been around for forever, and it's a really good brand. They do have lavender and some other scents, but me personally, anything as far as body care, personal body care outside of perfume and some lotions, I don't do scented. Um, no, like common sense. That's a video for another whole day, ladies and gentlemen. It has to be unscented if it's going under my arms, down there, on my face, or anything like that. Because 
I need to allow my skin to breathe and not be smelling like false things. Okay, so, but I do recommend the lavender. Lavender is a good anything, okay? So this is one of my per personal, uh, of course I can't talk. This is one of my personal favorite deodorants. Another one, don't judge my limes, y'all, because I took them out of the fridge and I put them out on the counter. Deodorant. This is the most natural deodorant there is on planet Earth. And these, my friends, these are the seeded ones, okay? These are key limes. These are the only limes that you can take the seed out and regrow. Anything outside of that is GMO, okay? So if you want to elevate from basic to baddie, I'm going to throw in an extra one just for you. Stop purchasing them fake limes. Get you the seeded limes, okay? Anything that's seeded, you can regrow, is natural. Period. No arguments down in the freaking comment section. Don't tell me what you think you know. I don't care. Logically, if it has a seed, you can what? Reproduce it. Cool. Basic to baddie. Tip number four. Clean out your fridge every week or every month. This is dependent on how much you grocery shop. Me personally, I grocery shop dang on there every other day because me personally, again, I don't buy a lot of false foods. I buy a lot of whole foods, so I have to be in the produce section majority of the time. My fridge is not as dirty as the average person who grocery shops all the time and literally don't clean their refrigerator out until springtime. Like you think about it. You're waiting for spring, spring cleaning to clean your frigid air. That is disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. When you open your fridge, you should see the color that it originally came in and all the beautiful colors that you had with your food. That's it. Okay, guys. So we're at the final tip to elevate from basic to baddie. My addition. Okay. Miss Fox's addition. Got to get that out there. Okay. This is one of my favorites. And people always ask me why do I have white linen? If you really want to elevate your room from basic to baddie, swap out your colored linen for white or bright colors. Now you may ask, what is the bright colors? light gray gray that's it <laughs> okay so if it's not white and you don't want white crisp white and you find it hard to begin to start off with white white start off with light gray or gray you can start out with pink and white gray and white black and white whatever to transition but you want to get to white or bright colors now ask yourself this when you go into a hotel on a vacation why is the linen white? Do you sleep better when you're on vacation? I mean, the beds do be better, okay? <laughs> the beds do be better for some odd reason, and it's the gist of you just not being in your own bed. But at the end of the day, you're not on vacation all the time. So what do you want to come home to? A dorm room? No. You want to come home to zen, peacefulness, cleanliness it helps you see how dirty you are if this is applicable okay this might not apply let it fly okay but if you want to test to see how dirty you are this is a good way just start off with a starter white bedspread set from like walmart or marshall's or something like that um don't put too much money into it when you're starting off you will see a dramatic change in how you <laughs> treat your bed okay if you wear makeup you will wash your makeup off before you hop in your bed. Or if you're anything like me, you're going to sleep on the couch. All right. <laughs> it relaxes you. It calms you. It makes you sleep better personally. Uh, I've slept the best with my white or bright linen and duvet. And you can also add your accent. So if you just have like your basics are white, which is your comforter, duvet, and your sheets, your spread, everything. In your pillowcases is white throw in the color that you love the most 
Like me, I had pink on my bed and of course I have freaking gray. I don't think that's ever going to change because the same scheme is literally in my living room, pink, gray, and white and silver. That's never going to change. No matter where I move to, no matter what I do, those are my faves. Um, yeah, where I move to my kitchen cabinets, they must be white. That's another topic for another day. I am definitely rambling, but these tips keep in mind are for people who want to change everyday life. If you're like wondering like what it is that I can change to make me feel better every day, girl, go get you some glass dishes. So when you pull out your cereal, you're like, you eating out your, yes. And get you some silverware, silverware too. All of these tips were to inspire for someone to grow. If you're already doing these things, this is not for you. This video is for people who may not know, who might not even thought about it. This is mainly for people who might not even thought about it. Thank me later, okay? And I will catch you guys in my next video.